Our top story tonight at 11, Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Gramalia was in Washington, D.C. to talk to President Joe Biden about the city of Buffalo's police tactics and how they're cracking down on crime. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Gramalia was there to talk about how other cities can learn from Buffalo. Two on your sides, Andy Payton spoke with the police commissioner and he has more for us. Andy? Scott and Mary Alice, the commissioner tonight told me that each commissioner had a different approach of bringing numbers down, but that they all agreed it really came down to one thing. Stopping scenes like this at the end of the day, that's the word. takes trust. We're talking about real people. We're talking about, you know, lives being saved. Trust that Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia tells me brought him to the White House today. Murder, rape, aggravated assault, robbery all drop sharply. To speak with President Biden alongside seven other police commissioners from around the country about what's working. The law enforcement and community leaders here today who have helped bring down violent crime rates in their cities to historic lows. Since before the COVID-19 pandemic, violent crime rates in the city of Buffalo have dropped by 20% thanks to the department's microviolent hotspot crime reduction plan launched in 2022. We're really using the data, um, digging in deep to, to know where to put our officers. That divides the city into a 500 by 500 foot grid and stations officers where the analytics team tells them crime might take place. We get our officers into those grids for you know 10 or 15 minutes uh, at a time in different uh, times where they uh, activate their flashers and get out of the car and network and engage and talk with the people. And while the commissioner tells me each department tonight shared a slightly different approach to bringing numbers down. It's really about building those bridges in the community. They all agreed it really came down to one thing. Trust. If, uh, if the community trusts the police department, then they're going to come forward and they're going to they're going to provide information to us because they know that we're going to do something about it. On your side, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.